Hey, what's up and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to make this domino here. It's essentially two dice stacked on top of each other and each one has 10 possible combinations. Uh, so I'm just going to fly over here and show you how to set it up. So the first thing we need to do is get the power. If I kind of take a side view here, you see I've kind of just run it down and around from the button and it comes up in the center bottom block here. So we're just going to take a note block and grab it out of there and then an observer coming this way and a dispenser. Make sure this is a dispenser, not a dropper. And this is going to be the main way that we generate the randomness. So you see here I have a bunch of colored shulker boxes and they just have a different number of uh, unstackable items. So we're just going to start with one and then we'll increase it by two each time so one three five seven and nine and we're just going to grab these here and put them in our dispenser all right we drop them in there like that then once they're dispensed we're going to need a way to break it so we'll take a redstone dust come over here into a solid block and then we'll have a sticky piston here with a solid block on the face and then when we trigger our circuit, it will pop the block out and break it, um, or rather it'll end up breaking the previous one and popping a new one up so that we have a new random number. Um, so we have that, then we have to return those shulker boxes back to where they belong. So we just put a hopper facing into the dispenser like that. And then we have to read out the value. So we're actually gonna read it out from here and here as well through a solid block here. Now you need to make sure um, that the when you break the block it doesn't escape so we're actually going to put a solid block here and then we're going to grab some glass just so you can see what's going on here. Um, temporary one there over to the side like this and then like not there we go. Um, so that way it's contained and it doesn't escape and then you can probably just fill this entire um, side here with glass. So now we have to take all these outputs over to the different lamps there. So we're going to start in the middle and kind of work our way out. So as you see here, we have five different chests, right? But we want 10 different states. Um, so these chests are going to give us five of those. And then if we have another randomizer circuit here, we'll just take a dropper face it up like that with a hopper facing down and then we're just going to put a 64 stackable item in there and then we're also going to put an unstackable item in there and this will give us uh, another binary random number um, so then if we multiply the number of combinations of this times the number of combinations of this one we get 10 because this is 5 and this is two possibilities. So that will give us all 10 of ours. And the neat thing about this is the back one here with the five, this will control all the dots around the edge. And then this one will control the center dot because the center dot essentially determines if it's odd or even, and then the rest of them kind of share a pattern. So zero and one share an exterior pattern two and three share an exterior pattern, uh, four and five, six and seven, and eight and nine as well. Um, so this one's just basically going to randomize the center dot to determine if we have an odd or even number, and then this one over here is gonna determine what number that is. All right, so basically we could just um, put some more glass here, and we'll run the output right into that lamp there. And we're also going to need some stuff here. And we'll take a composter just temporarily there. And we want to put three fill levels in it. Oh, sorry about that. That's not a redstone. That's going to be a comparator there. So three fill levels in that. And that will basically uh, help us differentiate between whether it's a uh, 64 stackable or an unstackable item there. Um, then let's do this bottom one here. So we're going to take redstone out the bottom like that, a target block, and then going around there, 
then we'll have a repeater here and a repeater there and we're going to put these both on three ticks uh, because we want this whole thing to be synchronized so we're essentially going to have three ticks of delay from the um, randomizer here to all the outputs so the one that goes straight through here through the target block uh, will feed this bottom light and then this one will come around and it will feed that middle light even though it's not pointing into it um, it works like this even though it's um, also powering this corner one because this corner one will always already be powered when we need to power that middle one um, so just got little efficiencies there then we're gonna take the middle one out like this and put a repeater on three ticks and then just run some redstone down to that uh, you'll notice that it does feed into this comparator here um, but we'll never have enough st signal strength here to override the power coming out of this composter uh, then we're going to want to run it up here and put a comparator going that way we'll use that later add another support block there and a repeater on three ticks coming out solid block and then two like that and a solid block in front of that light and then we could just run redstone on top of that now we've got this whole side done we're going to move over to the other side and we're going to start on the top one here uh, so we're just going to come across like um, we need a solid block here and then oh sorry solid block there and then we have some glass coming out like that and then going over to this middle one and we'll have a repeater on one tick there redstone solid block comparator and redstone like that so we need to lose another signal strength here so we've got two redstone so that drops by one and then it comes over here and immediately goes into that one and then we drop by another two to come to the middle one over here now we have to do these lights as well so essentially we're going to come down comparator then a solid block it goes into and a solid block down here now we're going to have a redstone dust that's going to be set to a dot and a repeater a solid block redstone dust and then a target block and you see the target block changes the shape there if it was a cross and we just had this as a solid block then it would actually power that center one early and we don't want that um, so we're basically just stepping it down here and then uh, this we can have come over I guess we didn't need to make that a dot but we have that come over like that and then we should have all three of these and the top middle one wired as well now um, I believe this is the whole circuit so I'm just gonna spin around here and we'll give it a shot we need to initialize it we'll just hit one of them Oop, I guess we didn't need to and so we hit this we've got a one six five so far it's all looking good three and you can probably just uh, continue doing this and this will go all the way up to from zero to nine so that's our ten possible combinations there um, and then it, if we want to run the one above it we're essentially just going to um, take the information out of here so we'll take a um, observer like that build this up and then we're going to actually need to turn this redstone so this is where we'll use the glass ceiling here or whatever you want to make it and we're just going to take a button so let's take a button place it underneath there and you see it, it turns that and then we can take this and an observer out the top I mean if you wanted you could also just take an observer stack up like that uh, and then you wouldn't need to turn that one but uh, then it causes a lot of delay between the bottom and the top of the domino uh, 
yeah, so that's basically it. Then we just take and we can glass this all in, make it look real nifty like that, and uh, do the same for all the sides, but I'm not going to show you that. So that's pretty much it. Um, let me know if you find a better solution. This is kind of a very simple one. It doesn't use really any complicated mechanics. Um, just a bunch of redstone repeaters and observers and stuff like that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.